Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Kid Crayon. Um, I'm an artist based in Bristol and today I thought we would make our own little kind of art toy. So the other day this bulb kind of blew and I was like, oh, I don't want to throw it away. Maybe there's something I can do with this because it's quite a cool looking bulb. I've done a couple custom jobs on those like money dolls and I've used Milliput in the past to kind of add stuff to it. So I thought, why not make one from scratch? Um, I've always kind of wanted to make like a bigger toy or like a bigger model. So um, yeah, I'm going to start with this one, which will obviously be a bit smaller, but then we'll build up to that in some future videos. So yeah, I'm kind of doing this as a freestyle. So um, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. Mini put is two part epoxy putty. You have to mix these two parts together in order to start the hardening process. So we've mixed it all together now. Is that going to come into focus? Yeah. So yeah, you want to make sure that this is completely streak free, all mixed together. Um, it takes a little while, but once you've done it, then it's good to go. Uh, the thing I love about this modeling clay is you don't have to put it in the oven like Sculpey. Once it's ready, it sets rock hard, very durable, and it's not going to break. Um, problem is, don't have a huge amount of time. I think you've got three hours to it to rock hard. So um, I guess I should probably make a start. There's no real right way of doing this. I tried my best to apply the potty as thinly and evenly as possible, making sure not to crush the light bulb in my hands because you don't want to be doing that. You can then move on to applying water to smooth out the surface. It kind of does work a little bit like clay in that respect. Um, so yeah, adding water to it does really help make it smoother. And then onto the facial features. Uh, it's just kind of working out the placement of where I'm going to put the nose, where I'm going to put the ears, how low down I'm going to have the mouth. But um, yeah, we'll just kind of see where it goes, I guess. Um, yeah, it's already going quite hard. Um, it's not as malleable as it was when I first started. It's kind of, you really have to push to be able to move anything around, which is kind of cool actually, because it does make it a little bit easier as you go through and start to add details because you don't want everything to be um, so soft. So yeah, the next step is I'm now going to go on to try and do the body. Um, I'm just going to do quite a stumpy, um, little simple body, but um, yeah, that's the next step. I guess this is kind of why it's good to have a plan sometimes because I'm just kind of kind of chopping and changing my approach to making this body, but I think it's going to turn out okay. What am I going to do with these arms? Unfortunately, this is where the camera cuts out. It was quite late. I wasn't really paying much attention, but yeah, I kind of finished the arms off camera. So I've left this bad boy to dry overnight and now it's just fixing the little imperfections. Um, he's going to need to be sanded down. There's little tiny cracks in certain places just because it was kind of drying on me a bit too quickly. So what I need to do now is add a little tiny bit more milli put, put them into the gaps. Um, I can also just go over the top of it with a little bit of PVA glue. That also helps because it's going to be painted anyway, so it should be kind of rock hard underneath. But yeah, it's kind of hard to imagine that there's a light bulb in this guy. You can kind of still hear it. Um, but yeah, that's the next step. Let's do this. So I'm kind of skipping the stage of sanding this down. Um, I think it looks good enough, so I'm just going to apply a thin layer of paint. I'm just going to add this yellow as my primer and I'm going to paint over the top of this. The hard part of this um, is all done now. I've completely finished it. It's now rock hard. I've also just given it a quick coat as like an undercoat just to kind of seal it. So I've got something to paint on top of. Um, he's not going to be bright yellow, don't worry. Uh, I also fixed this little hat. Um, so it's kind of what he looks like at the moment. Um, yeah, it's kind of onto the easy bit because like doing this, it was a bit of a challenge because I've never done it before. I mean, I've used the material before, but I've never done something completely from scratch. But yeah, onto the easy part. I should also be able to do a couple more camera angles as well. Um, it was quite difficult when I was like trying to model of this and move cameras. So yeah, now I can do, you know, the super sexy sweeping shots. Um, there won't be any sweeping shots. Yeah, just kind of onto the last stage. I'm going to still keep it a complete freestyle. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to turn out, but I don't really want to have any designs. It's kind of nice to just have this kind of freestyle project on the go. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to finish it tonight. So um, yeah, let's jump straight into it. Or should I say, let's do this. This color choice is pretty much decided by the amount of paint that I have. I have quite a lot of blue in the old paint box. So I thought, yeah, let's go for a blue skin tone. And then I'm going to add a bit of pink to the ears, pink to the nose and pink to the fingertips. Looking a little bit like a weird blue Kill Bill at the moment. Um, don't worry, I'm going to be getting rid of that yellow. I feel like I'm making some pretty good headway with this. Um, here's how it's looking. I was going to have him in a black suit, but then I just couldn't stop thinking about him in like a stripy brown jumper. Um, so I've switched it up a little bit, he's going to be in a jumper. And the thing I'm finding most challenging is just like all the little nooks and crannies in here. Maybe it won't focus, but yeah, like in these parts here. And yeah, just because the hands are in front of it, it's quite difficult to actually get the brush to it. It kind of feels a little bit like I'm playing Operation. Um, but I'm determined to get this finished tonight. Uh, this is my favorite time to work, it's quite late girlfriend's asleep and um, it's now like 10 o'clock at night I could probably work until like three or four in the morning so yeah the mission is get this thing finished because yeah I've got a guitar I need to paint so yeah let's just see what happens Yo! Oh my god, um, I'm sorry I'm really tired, I just woke up. Just came to check this guy out, see if it's as good as I remember it from last night because I was pretty sleepy when I was doing this and oh man, I'm so happy with it, it came out pretty good. Um, I think I need to definitely make some more of these. Um, it was quite a lot of fun kind of making the whole thing instead of just painting one of the money dolls. Um, I might kind of kit bash those money dolls, like use the body and then change the head and stuff and do a few more of these because yeah making the body was definitely a lot harder than making the head because obviously I had the light bulb. The last thing I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to grab this uh, clear coat it's just like a like a varnish like a finish I'm going to go spray this outside just to seal it and protect it and um, yeah just make it a little bit more durable if you like fell off the shelf and your dog started chewing on him. Um, but yeah let's go do that. Yes, we're all finished with this one now. I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Um, after doing the gloss, it has this like real ceramic feel to it. Um, and yeah, I mean, he looks great. I think what we should do now actually is just jump to some super sexy shots of the final results. That's it for this week guys, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this week's video. Um, if you're not already part of the coolest, most wickedest gangster club in the whole world, the sub club, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button now. Um, next week I will be doing a guitar video, it might actually take two weeks because I'm painting the guitar and the guitar case, it's quite a big project. But yeah, expect a video either next week or the week after. But 
Again, thanks so much everyone that's already subscribed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Kapow!